Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. Let me round up today's session by once again congratulating all our distinguished colleagues for devoting, sacrificing so much time and we have achieved what we have set for ourselves because of our commitment. We will all recall that at the beginning of the ninth Senate, we resolved to have a legislative agenda. And in our legislative agenda, the Petroleum Industry Bill and the amendment of the Electoral Act 2010 are very key, central, and they are pillars of what we have set ourselves to do. Today, by the grace of God, we have achieved those two issues that we have set for ourselves. We have passed the conference committee report on the PIB, and I want to commend the team, our conferees, the members of the conference committee on PIB that worked with our colleagues in the House. I commend you for your devotion and your commitment. And since we have passed the conference committee report in this Senate, I would like to say that our committee, conference committee has finished its job. They have done that with diligence. And therefore, the conference committee ceases to exist. Secondly, the Electoral Act Amendment, we have gone through a serious and probably tortuous process to reach where we have reached by passing it. There was no victor, no vanquished in this affair. Everyone did what he or she did with full commitment and realization that what we want is one and the same thing, but the path we have taken are different. We want an electronic process transmission system for our electoral process. However, we want to ensure that no Nigerian is disenfranchised in this process. And time will definitely come when all part of Nigeria will have the coverage that we all need to deploy our technology to ensure electronic transmission of our res 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 election results. This has come to settle the issue of what INEC can do and what INEC cannot. We are giving INEC an electoral act amended to enhance its performance. For avoidance of doubt, the process of passing the electoral act amendment was open and has achieved every possible integrity test that it was free and fair. I want Nigerians to help INEC and to help those who need to be helped to participate in our election processes. This is one way that INEC will take another step because this electronic voting that we have passed, there is a distinction between electronic voting and transmission. The electronic voting itself has been adopted by the Senate. So we need to enlighten our people so that they are able to participate in the process because it's going to be a new process for them. INEX should do its own part of enlightening Nigerians, but other citizens, especially those of us who are elected and those in government should also help other Nigerians to understand what the process is. With this, I want to say that we have come to the end of this uh, session. The Senate will go and proceed on its annual summer recess from today. I will call on the leader to move for the adjournment. But before then, I wish all of us a very restful summer recess and we deserve to have some rest. But of course, our constituents are also waiting for us 
to hear the outcome of all those beautiful things and legislative interventions that we have done. God bless all of us. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.